I'm Yolande Poirier from Oracle Technology Network and I'm here today at Devox uh, in Belgium and talking to Daniel De Luca. Daniel, hi. Hi, hi. Yolande. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. And so uh, what do you do, Daniel, for a living? Ah, for a living, I'm a freelancer, so mm -hmm. proposing my services as a software architect, team leader in software development in Java, yep. G2E platforms. Normal stuff, let's say. Okay, and so what is uh, the robot in your arm? Ah, the you robot is in my arm is the is now, so yep. it's from Alderaban uh, Robotics, a, comp a French company. Mm -hmm. is building them. We use uh, such robots for the Devox for Kids initiatives, where we try to teach children to introduce children to computer software, to computer programming, um, in order to introduce them to computer science in general. So we do that uh, either with. Uh, normal computers let's say to show mm -hmm. them that they can be uh, they can be creative with those computers instead of just watching uh, Facebook uh, commenting on Facebook or posting pictures or watching videos on YouTube we want to teach them that it's also possible to be creative to build for example some games in an easy way yeah. and uh, the other way is also to teach them okay give them max an aspect of robotics where the, we teach them okay, a robot. It's also a computer. You can also program it, but it has another interface. So you can have multiple sensors here, a sonar, sensors on the on the feet, on the hands, and they they use all those sensors in order to do to make the robots doing things uh, quite funny sometimes. Um, we do that with this kind of robots. We use also some Lego mindstorms. Um, and another aspect we try to teach them is also electronics, showing them that behind the computers, the screens, the mouse, the robots, there is a motherboard, there are some comp electronic components, mm -hmm. and for this we use the uh, Arduino platforms. So we teach them uh, voltage, ohms, all those electronic uh, particularities, and uh, we make them uh, lighting a LED uh, using sensors. And sometimes we also interact with the Arduino platform sensors and with uh, the computers to make use the sensors of the Arduinos in order to make the games, for example. Okay. So combining you, them. You taught also green food. Or? Green food, yep. true. Uh, that's a higher level of uh, in the education part. Yep. You no know, teaching really concept of Java object-oriented programming using Java, like uh, object instances, having dif different instances in, in a world. And then those instances are, for example, a turtle that they have to move around with the keyboards. Uh, and behind them, we show them, okay, sometimes now you have to code Java. And so we introduce them to Java and to those concepts. Um, but it's for high level between, let's say, 12 to 15 years old children. So um, where do you do those workshops? I mean, in which countries? Ah, uh, it, we started in 2012 in Belgium with two sessions, two events, in one in Flanders and in, Fr in Dutch and in uh, Wallonia in, in French. And then quickly uh, the other jerk started to create also events. And so we have now events in a uh, different region in France, in, um, um, in Holland also, mm -hmm. in the Netherlands. Also there are multiple ci different cities, uh, in Denmark. Um, um, in Switzerland, in Geneva, for example, recently. Also, we are starting also a session. We're going to start session next year in Canada, in the US, in the Bay Area, in San Francisco. Uh, we already started last month um, in the Philippines, just before the typhoon. So now it's kind of tricky. Ooh. So I got new, good news. So it's everybody is fine, okay. but the school are, are completely destroyed. So. Um, mm. Uh, and and, uh, and we're gonna start also in uh, in Africa, North Africa, in uh, Morocco. So, um, what happened with the language? I mean, how do you how those groups work with the language? Do they design yeah. it yourself, or what can what kind of resources can they depend on? Yeah, from the you? problem that we encountered. That's why we started uh, initially the Devox for Kids. That we were looking for uh, materials on the internet to teach software programming to our own children. But the problem is that okay, we found materials but only in English but I'd say it's good for the US for example in Canada but the rest of the world sometimes children at that age do not speak English yet so uh, we translate them we combine them and uh, and we share of course 
those materials and we try to help them in translate to have some translations for the other countries or we translate them in English and then they translate in, for example in Danish or in, in French for example so every groups as in, in their own country have the native language uh, version of the workshops so if somebody wants to do that I mean do they need to pay for anything for the training or I mean what no, is everything what do you is in open source minded mm -hmm. so we share all our materials on our website so www.devoxforkids.com and uh, everybody is welcome to, to use it, not necessarily under the, the name of the Vox for Kids, as long as basically they share uh, what they have modified and what they have created with us, so we can reshare the same information to, the, to everybody else. That's the main goal. We don't, we're not looking for having a, a benefit. Or, so the only benefit we are looking for is the happiness of the children, the joy on their faces when uh, they are programming such a robot it's, it's amazing you have to see that it's really incredible and it's also incredible from the parents point of view because they say my child is has changed basically it's come back it come back home and it's just talking about this all the all the week long and it, they're really happy and sometimes the parents ask okay can you do that for for us too and say sorry but we are just uh, <laughs> concentrating, concentrating on, on the children <laughs> so it's really funny sometimes it's really rewarding and it's uh, they give us inspirations, okay? Yeah. Uh, you have a lot, you can give a lot of inspiration to the children because they have some idea, incredible ideas what they can do with, with those robots, for example. And also the games they are building with the applications. But they give us also inspiration and say, okay, this is really an enormous reward because mm -hmm. uh, it's very fun to do that. Uh, you learn a lot also from the children mm -hmm. because they are not afraid of doing things with the computers. While the right. adults sometimes, persons say, okay, can I do this? Can I not do this? Uh, will it break? No. The children don't care. They just go full speed. If it breaks, okay, it breaks, but at least they learn from it. Um, so it's very... Very re rewarding. Yeah, it's, uh, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. You should try it. It's uh, really have to advise to do that. Do it. Even with your own child, it's very funny. Sometimes you can just, even with other computers, you can do things already. Mm -hmm. um, and you will see that happiness on your child again. It's, a, it's, a, it's really wonderful. So if they want to get started, they, uh, sh they should go to the website or contact you? They, or? they can go to the website to look yeah. already at the videos, to have an impression already of what, uh, what has been done already. And then they can contact us. Uh, we start discussing to help them. Uh, at giving them advices how to get uh, eventually uh, where to look at for locations uh, how to get eventually sponsorships mm -hmm. um, and how to organize this we have uh, for example tomorrow at the, uh, the session we have a session on room 7 where we will explain give all the tips and tricks we have learned so far how to organize a sessions but also the second part will be on, on all the workshops we already are, are providing and the buff in the evening will uh, be talking about question and answers and uh, we will also discuss about eventually new things that we can add new type of workshops we can do nowadays you have hundreds of thousands of possibilities uh, to teach in a fun way computer science to children wonderful thank you so much You're thank welcome. you for, for sharing your, your story and your wonderful work this okay. is really wonderful thank you thank you thank you for joining us